I'm Sophie and I went to Kroningen in the Netherlands. I'm not really sure, um, partly out of recommendation by John, because he's been there. And um, I really like the fact that it was quite a small city, um, but still very much a city. Um, and lots of things to do. And the Netherlands is quite small, so it meant that I could travel wherever I wanted to. Um, I don't really know. Um, I just went to, like Louise, just went to like a couple of the meetings. Um, and then, uh, like in first year, like I didn't want to go at all. I went to the first meeting, I was like, oh, uh, I'm not interested in doing that. And then by second year, I was definite, I was like, I'm definitely going to go. Um, and then it was sort of going to the meetings, and then the next minute I was planning it and, and I was going and I was like, well, I'm not going to turn back now. So I went. No, um, and I didn't actually very, learn very much Dutch while I was there. Um, I had the intention to, but everyone talks English. Uh, my lectures are in English um, and it was just easy to get by without English, um, without Dutch, so I didn't really have any need for it. Probably should have done that. Um, I had to do a spatial planning and spatial policies course, um, which was all of my credits, um, and that covered a lot of like Dutch themes, so Dutch, um, um, I don't know, like the Dutch landscape, uh, Dutch population um, issues and stuff like that. Um, but I also did a humanitarian aid course, um, which was just uh, introduction to the Dutch perspective. And I did a module in Mandarin as well. I stayed in international halls. Um, I don't think Groningen has any halls for their like native students, but there's loads of international halls. Um, I stayed in a small one, which was had about 50 people in it from all over the world. Um, and there was one big kitchen uh, for 50 people and a big like common area with a TV and tables and sofas and everything. Um, I had a massive room um, and then it was like shared bathroom facilities per floor as well. Um, but it was really comfortable, clean and actually quite warm instead of student housing. <laughs> um, <laughs> probably pretty much like everything that everyone says, like the bikes. Um, it's a very calm like atmosphere. Um, everyone's so friendly uh, right from the very start. Like I felt very welcome there. Um, and I think one of the easiest things was that I was immediately felt like I was at home. Um, I didn't really have any problems settling in at all. Um, and then after a while, it was just suddenly realized that I had this routine of any time I went out, I was on my bike. Um, and just sort of adopt the Dutch way of life because it's just, it's so easy and laid back. Um, yeah, there were loads. Uh, I don't know any specific numbers, but my entire course was international students. Um, and there's a huge international community, like through the ESN programme. Um, where everyone just comes together. The first week was like a freshers week, but only for international students. Um, and you find people that, from, like you just become friends with people from all over the world. And I think one of the nicest things, especially for like British students, is that you're, um, an in so you're on, um, everyone communicates through English. So you can be friends with anyone and, you know, get on. Absolutely, it's like definitely one of the best sort of flash decisions I ever made. Um, I've learned so much from it and it's actually 
changed what I want to do. Like I have, I have more of an idea of where I want to go, and I'm considering doing a master's abroad as well. Um, I think the best bits were obviously I've now got friends all over the world um, that I need to keep in touch with. Um, and we just went, we went travelling a lot at the weekends. I've been to most of the cities in the Netherlands, uh, a few of them like a couple of times. It was so easy to go to Amsterdam just for like the day, go early in the morning and come back late, late at night. Um, and I think that was quite a, after a while it, it suddenly clicked, I was like, oh, I'm not just going to be able to go to Amsterdam by train anymore or just travel around. So I think that was a, it was a strange sort of sense of freedom that you were all over. You were just based in like Europe and you could go wherever you wanted to. Um, I think the hardest bit for me was actually leaving. Um, once I was there, uh, after the first day, I didn't give it a second thought. I was just suddenly in the Netherlands and that's how it was going to be and I had the most fantastic time but I think the hardest bit was actually getting up and going um, and once I was there it was absolutely fine.